So apparently there's an event that has been going on in the game and honestly I didn't really know about it until today. So today I'm going to go ahead and cover it up and let you guys know if it's actually a good event or not, if it's worth spending your gems or not. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and anyways, let's go to get started. Alright guys, so the event that I'm talking about is this Conjuring Challenge where you can basically breed legendary or mythic monsters, obtain these token or points, whatever you want to really call them, and then basically advance through this time challenge. So apparently there's only 2 days and 10 hours remaining. I'm assuming that it actually starts when the season actually drops. So let me see how many days left. 9 days left right now. So... It would have been better if it was like eight to nine days remaining in that event, honestly. Uh, because I honestly I didn't actually know about it until now. So I'm gonna see if I can actually get some of these tickets and we can actually spend those tickets in the conjuring event. Um, and maybe get one of the ancestrals, hopefully, or even these um abyssal monsters because I have none of them really. I'm missing, I believe, every single one of them. Uh, I don't know about this one though. I don't know about Orchunian. I think I have Orchunian actually because that's from Galacticara. But yeah, all these monsters I'm actually missing. I've been just, I, I've, I've had bad luck, okay? That's all. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and actually get into that. Let me collect all my gold. So basically all you have to do is breed legendaries or mythics. Obviously, here's the thing. Your chances of getting these mythics or legendaries are very, very low. Now, if you want to go ahead and try to breed a mythic, you get 20 points. Um, your chances of breeding a legendary monster is slightly higher than getting a mythic in my opinion so we have voltic redeemed which is an amazing monster uh apparently it's actually breedable right now so if you guys want to go ahead and give it a try you can uh then there's your levine let's see if I actually if i'm missing any of these guys i'm not missing any of them no i'm not missing any of them i think i have commander morgan as well all right i'm gonna try i kind of want to try this one you know what it says any mythic really since i have this maxed out Elvira Demon Slayer's max out. I, I honestly, I'm just gonna go with something like maybe I guess Captain Alvet. Okay, I feel like the chances of getting the top monsters, you know, the top top ones like Voltic Redeem and the other ones that were listed there that were glowing in yellow. I feel like the chances of getting those are not as high. You know what I mean? Getting um, the other ones. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna activate this. I have 600 gems remaining. I'm not going to spend all my gems. That'd be silly. Oh, we got Dusk Aura. And that's going to give me how many points? Oh, five points, I think that is, right? So five points. I got my 50 tickets. Not bad. I tried breeding a Mythic, obviously, but then I got a Legendary. Now, here's the thing in this event, actually. Some of these monsters, they have, like, multiple combinations, I guess. I guess you'd call them. So, for example, this one has Lord of Atlantis with Nemistrianus. Let's see if there's any other ones with that. I can probably go through and see if there's any. Maybe this UV Fusion. Yeah, look, you can actually get UV Fusion. That's one of them. And I'm sure there's maybe some legendaries here too. Yeah, look. This one too. Do you actually have a chance of getting Pixelion? Um, I am going to go for... It doesn't matter who I really go for, really. So if I try to breed UV Fusion, I have a chance of getting... Voltic Redeem, basically. I'm going to start breeding this. And it's going to be 9 hours. Looks like we got ourselves either a Legendary or a Mythic. I think it's a Mythic, though. 9 hours. Because the previous one was 1 day and 10 hour. And normally that's supposed to be an Epic. But they end up giving us a Legendary. So I'm assuming this is a Mythic. I might be wrong. It was actually a Mythic. No way. We got Voltic Redeemed. What? Am I getting lucky right now? Or is this just... The way the event is what the heck dude so for basically for about 20 gems i just got 50 tickets and another 80 on top and if i get lucky so i have 25 right now i could get another 20 and then maybe another five and that basically will give me another of those 100 tickets obviously here's the thing it's up to you if you want to gamble through this it's just, it, it depends on luck, really. Um, I'm going to try again. I'm going to repeat it again because I'm feeling lucky right now. Wait, what the heck? Did I mess it up? I messed it up. All right, we're going to try Voltic Redeemed again. Six hours. That might be a legendary, actually. 
So for seven gems, you're getting five points basically, or maybe it's actually an epic. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this real quick. Oh yeah, it's Ascara. So it looks like for about seven gems, we got five points towards the Conjuring event. Now we're basically 20 away. So if we could get another Mythic right now, we can get get ourselves a hundred of those seasonal summon tickets. So let's go ahead and repeat it. Six hours. Looks like that's another legendary. Man, now I'm just spending too many gems. Let me stop. <laughs> I'm spending way too much now. Uh, Turtle Mortal, sure. It's a water monster, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Okay, so I can place it here with uh, my other water monsters. Okay, we got ourselves Turtle Mortal. Now, I was actually thinking about feeding it up and then ranking it up, but technically, you can still rank up monsters even if they're a baby. So let me see if I actually have cells. I should have cells. Please tell me I have cells. I don't. Oh, wow. No, it's not Ancestrals. How many cells do I have for Turtle Mortal? Oh, I only have... Oh, I'm missing five. I'm not going to spend five of those. It's whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and open up like a tear egg or something. Oh, this right here. This should be it. There we go. We got 15 cells and that should be enough to actually rank this one up. And since there's no race, we might as well go ahead and actually rank this up, right? Um, <clears throat> so, where did it go? Did I just lose it? Mythic. There it is. 210 out of 200. Well, that's done. And uh, I guess we have a free spot. So this is going to be our last try. And we got ourselves a legendary. Another legendary. So that's another five points. And I'm going to try one last time. It looks like it's six hours. If it was nine hours, I would have actually sped it up. No, actually, no. That would have been silly if I sped it up because that's too much gems. I don't want to deal with that. So I guess once your hatchery is like fully loaded with like a all eggs so for example me i have like a uh, level 4 hatchery which is the maximum you can actually have um obviously if you have access to the legends pass you'll have access to this premium uh little island where it gives you an extra hatchery there but i don't have access to that so but yeah once it basically you take you know everything is just full you take all the eggs um i wouldn't really recommend spending gems after that really so just spend the maybe the 50 gems or less than 50 gems uh just getting all those points and then stop there and then once all of this is free then you can continue again for another maybe 50 gems depends how lucky you are it, it could be less really uh but this is actually not a bad event really if you guys would like to take advantage of it i'd highly recommend if you have the gems for it um go for it i wouldn't really um uh, recommend going crazy in this event though like just don't spend a crazy amount of gems obviously unless you have a lot then you don't care you know what i mean go for it but again what i'd recommend doing once the event actually starts you have a lot of time right now there's only two days and 10 hours remaining not too much time but let's say that event i don't know how much it actually is in the beginning i'll actually have to see next season um what i'd highly recommend doing is you know breed a bunch once it's full then wait the next two days once they're all done hatching hatch them all up and then spend another 50 gems you know getting all those points and you can actually get a lot of tickets and you might be able to get an ancestral monster for all those gems you spent you know what i mean so now i have 420 i'm gonna go ahead and actually summon five that's a perfect amount to actually summon five here so let's see what it is it is going to be oh man I mean, you know what? For starter players, this would actually be helpful. You might pull like 100 cells for Galvanus or something. These monsters are all useless, really. Except Galvanus. Gal Galvanus, I have max out, so it doesn't really matter. Um, those cells it just go to waste, really. But again, I would highly recommend taking advantage of this event, guys. Um, I honestly didn't know this thing actually existed until now. So now that I know, I might actually take advantage of it and start doing something um i'm actually gonna go for jack let me go for jack i'm gonna flip some cards see if i'm lucky or not maybe get some gems i don't know if there's any gems actually in these cards but let's give it a try we got some relics one relic there's actually no gem i wish there was gems back then it used to be in 72 hour challenges you guys remember 72 hour challenges were like the best back then oh 20 cells i'll take look there's voltic there too <laughs> I might have a Voltic Egg actually in my storage. I have him at like 115 or 120. But I don't know if I actually have like his egg in storage as like a souvenir, I guess, or whatever. Let's try like two more. If we get relics, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I mean, relics are not bad. But I wanna get the Jack Russell cells because I don't have that monster ranked up. Oh, we're going to finish it off with the Voltic, actually. <laughs> okay, we'll do Voltic. Cool. 
But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's Monster Gems video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. I hope you also learned something new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.